Uh, I feel pretty great, you know, like uh, we've opened in the, in the States and it's been very well received. So it's kind of fun to come here knowing that people like the film and uh, you can react a little bit, just talk about it and know that uh, people are enjoying it. So it's, it's really a nice, nice experience. And from the other films, yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, we sort of approach every film to be the best it can be, you know, and so we're always a little bit nervous that, that each one is going to do good, whether it's a giant Avengers film or Ant-Man and the Wasp, which is a much more smaller contained story. So uh, we, we uh, pour our hearts in these films, and so the anticipation is always, always there that will be well received. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp was the first, uh, first duo we've ever had, a first team-up, and the first male-female team-up. We've had uh, a lot of films where teams come together like the Avengers, but there's something really special and unique about two people when they're together. And the films uh, are about family, you know, and it's about how we choose the people that we're with as much as the people uh, that we're born into, you know, born into families. So uh, I, think, I think that's why they work. That's why it's such a special and unique team, for sure. Peyton Reed is the perfect director for the Ant-Man films because he has a wonderful sense of tone, and these movies are very funny and very out there and strange, weird humor, but they're also incredibly sincere. They have a big heart and uh, the emotion is real. And to have a director do both of those, to do the really funny comedy, but then also have a movie that's not cynical, uh, that is Peyton. He's that guy. He's the, he's the tone behind this movie and it's been awesome making this film with him. I hope the audience has a really good time and, and also, you know, like I was saying before, there's a real message of family and a, and a message of, of the, the strength of family, family and the strength and unity and how nobody's perfect, but sometimes if we come together we can make each other stronger and there's a really good, really good heart to the film that I, that I hope, uh, and amongst all the action and the laughs, people walk away with a feeling of that too. That's a good question. You know, I think, I think all credit goes to Evangeline. She's embodied that character amazingly well. And she was someone that was kept on the sidelines uh, for what her father thought was good reasons in the, in the first film. And when we meet her in this film, she's off to the races. She is uh, on a mission, which is, I think I can bring my mom home. And so I think it's resonating with audiences because they understand that. They would understand what it's like to lose someone so close to you. And this movie throws a lot at her in, in her way, on her way to get there, but nothing is gonna stand in the way. She's plowing through all these obstacles if there's a 1% chance of finding mom. Oh my gosh, this is surreal, it's real. I live in Hollywood, I feel like I'm back in Hollywood right now. <laughs> no, it's, it's amazing, the Cadillacs, the, the weather, being in Paris, all of it, it's very overwhelming and, and super special.